Vortex. So today I have the newest wedding collection from Essie, the uh, Wedding Bridal 2016 collection. Um, I think it's called, I think the name of it's Mrs. Always Right. I think that that's like the name that they're using with it. I picked these up on transdesign.com. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to go check them out for yourselves. There's six polishes in total. I paid like $4.25 each for them, which is a great deal. Um, yeah, this is definitely a different kind of direction for a wedding palette, I would say, but I think it's great that they're doing something like this, something a little different. I think that there's something here for everybody, and I think that you guys are going to like these. I really do. So stick around if you want to see some more about these, and I'm going to do some comparisons and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. Up first here is called Steal His Name. This is a sheer kind of peach, peachy pink kind of color. Um, it is definitely not going to be like one of those super opaque cream colors. This is intended for a wedding collection. Well, it is in a wedding collection. So normally you want something kind of soft and delicate, but you can wear it that way, or you can build it up in about three coats and get a little bit of a, a deeper color, but still it's going to be nice and delicate. I like to wear these kinds of colors whenever. So let's go ahead and get a better look. All right, so here is our brush shot, and as you can see, it is definitely more of a sheer formula. So let's go ahead and swatch it. All right, so let's go ahead and get on our first coat of still his name. So the formula is really smooth and easy to apply. It's not like too thin and watery or anything like that. Um, it is sheer, obviously. It's just that kind of a color. If you don't like sheer polishes, you will not like this. But there are some really nice creams in the collection that we will get to. But there's one coat. I feel like you do get pretty good coverage in one coat for the type of formula that it is. So we'll let it dry and we'll come back and put on a second coat. All right, so let's put on our second coat here. And like always, I am just gonna go two coats on each polish, um, but I will let you know how many coats I had to do for my swatch photos. Um, I will also have some comparisons for you as well. But here is our second coat and it self-levels really nicely. Okay, so there is two coats, which covers pretty well in my opinion. I don't feel like I have any issues at all with this. Um, so you will be seeing three coats for my photo. So let's go ahead and move on to our next shade. So the second shade here is called Coming Together, and this is kind of like that last one, but it is more of like a um, light pink shade, so it is another sheer polish, but it does build up nicely, so let's get a better look. Alright, so here is what it looks like outside the bottle, I'm sure you guys can see here, sheer. So let's go ahead and get our first coat of coming together on here. So this one, just like that last one's pretty much the same formula, really smooth. And as they dry, they self level nicely. Um, so there's our first coat. Obviously it's sheer, but we will let it dry and come right back. All right, so let's put on our second coat of coming together. All 
So again, it is a easy formula. Two coats makes it look pretty good, but you guys will be seeing three coats for my swatch. So let's go ahead and get to our next polish. The third shade here is called Between the Seats, and this is kind of like a off whitish kind of beigey nude cream. So yes, this is one of the cream polishes in the collection. Gorgeous color. So here is our brush shot. And as you guys can see, this is a much more opaque color. Okay, so let's put on our first coat between the seats. So this formula is absolutely spectacular. It's one of those formulas that I would consider pretty much perfect. So pretty. And honestly, you could probably get away with one coat of this, and I'm not even, not even joking you. Um, so we'll let that dry and come right back and get our second coat. Alright, so let's get on our second coat of between the seats. Isn't this color gorgeous? I love it. So there's two coats and that makes that completely opaque. So let's go ahead and move on to our next shade. Next is called Groom Service, and it is just a really beautiful kind of light lavender purple shade. It is a cream. It's a beautiful color. Here is our brush shot. So let's apply our first coat here. So this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. Um, but it does have pretty nice coverage for one coat. I think I just did mine a little bit thin. That's why it's looking a little bit streaky here but whenever I had it on my nails and for my swatch photo I did two and it was just really good so we'll let that dry and we'll come right back okay so this is our last coat of groom service this really really pretty lavender purple shade Two coats will make this opaque. Alright. Two left, guys. So second to the last is called Passport to Happiness. And this is a color that I wouldn't imagine in a wedding collection, but I think it's awesome that they took a little bit of a risk on some of these colors and I love it. Um, so this is like a minty kind of green and then it has like this green shimmer sheen type of thing that runs through it. I think you guys can see it a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Really pretty though. Alright, so real quick I wanted to show you this is the only thing that um, 
is really negative that I have to say about this collection at this point, just because this is the brush that I got in Passport Happiness. Look at it. It's like all frayed out and flare. It's weird. So I switched it out with a, another one from one of my other Essies. So I'll let you guys see that in just a second. All right, so I had to switch out that brush for Fashion Playgrounds brush, um, but that's okay. So here is a close-up of what this polish looks like. Alright, so let's put on our first coat of Passport to Happiness. It's a really pretty color. This is the only one that I had a little bit of an issue with. Um, it just didn't want to self-level very well, and... Um, Normally I would say only do two coats for something like this, and I, I can get away with two coats, but it still like kind of looks a little streaky, and then it starts to get a little bit thick, <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's a beautiful color. It's the only one that I had an issue with, so we'll let that dry down and come right back. Alright, so let's finish up here with Passport to Happiness, our second coat. So this is one of those polishes that you don't want to manipulate around too much. So there's our second coat and you can still kind of see that shimmer in certain lights on the nail. Um, so we have one left. Let's go ahead and get onto it. Finally on the last shade here, it's called Mrs. Always Right. I love that name, that's so cute. And this is a polish that I never thought that I would see in a wedding collection, but I actually really, really like it. It's kind of like a, um, if you guys remember last year's color of the year, I think it was like Marsala or something like that. This is kind of like that kind of a color. Um, it's a little bit muted and dusty. It's really pretty though, I really, really like it. So here is what Mrs. Always Right looks like outside of the bottle. It's got a beautiful cream formula. Alright, so let's put on our first coat of Mrs. Always Right. So the formula on this one is really good. Really, really good. You could most definitely get away with one coat if you wanted to on this. This one, in my opinion, has the best formula out of the whole collection. So we'll let that dry down and come right back. Oh my god, my son, for a second cup. Okay, so here is our last coat of Mrs. Always Right, which it really doesn't need two coats. But you guys know I just like to go ahead and do two coats anyway. I just like how two coats thickens the look of it up a little bit just makes it look completed to me so there's that beautiful formula beautiful color love it so give me a second I'll be right back and we'll talk favorites and finish up so let's finish up here so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys real fast um, one more quick look at all of these at two coats with the top coat um, and just finished. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the wheel here so you guys can see. This is everything at two coats, like I just said, with top coat. And I will have comparisons. If I didn't already put the comparison photos in, they'll be right after this. So you guys will get to see them, of course, and you'll get to see photos of these on my nails, like always, of course. <laughs> Um, but here are my picks. So we have here Mrs. Always Right, and then this one right here is, what is this, Between the Seats? So yeah, I just really love these two. They have the best formulas, um, just really, really good collars. And just for the simple fact alone that Essie did something kind of out of the norm 
as far as bridal color palette goes, you know what I mean? Like these standard bridal colors, they uh, kind of went outside the box here a little bit and I love that. I think it's so great. Um, I do feel like there's something here for everybody and I think that they're great polishes and great formulas for the most part. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend these to you guys and let me know what you guys think about them. Let me know which one that you like the most or which one you think that you might get or which ones you might be getting. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.